Hey everybody, this is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com. Today we're going to talk about why a guy won't talk about his feelings. I know, why wouldn't a guy talk about his feelings with you? We're going to give you three reasons why. Of course, the big question is why do guys hide their feelings? And why do guys have such a tough time talking about emotional topics? Well, the answer will probably surprise you, so hang on for a bumpy ride as we take on that emotional subject that we all love so much, emotions. You see, men are naturally wired to not feel quite as many emotional cycles and not as high and low and definitely nowhere near as extreme as our female counterparts. We just don't derive as much pleasure from verbally processing emotions. What we tend to do is internalize our feelings and figure them out on our own. Now a woman, on the other hand, she needs to bring her emotions and feelings up to the surface where she can see them and work on them. She also has a much more dynamic level of ups and downs. The best analogy I can come up with for this is that a woman's emotions are like jazz, whereas a man's emotions are a little bit more like easy listening. One is more dynamic with tempo changes, dissonance, and you know, wild key changes. The other one's a little bit more level. So ultimately, it's not a case of men are wrong to hold emotions in, and it's not wrong for our women to let them out. It's just different. So I'm gonna share three reasons that men don't talk, to, talk about their feelings with you typically, but first I wanna show you a man's emotional reality. Okay, a man's emotional reality. Number one is he's in a double bind when it comes to sharing his feelings. You see, society encourages men to share their feelings, but when we do, our partners are, they're not usually prepared for it. They're shocked and they're actually kind of weirded out by it. Women believe that men, they want their men to express their feelings, but it's actually only certain feelings and only in an amount that they find that they can handle. Strangely, this is not unlike how men handle women's feelings. So we're actually pretty similar in that respect. Men who go off road and then start talking about their deep emotional life, they're often judged as being unstable and erratic. There are many men who are, can be kind of robotic and cold about their emotions, but they're actually the exception, not the norm. Most of the average guys that you're gonna run into out there are very emotive and they live a very rich and vibrant palette of emotions. But even the most emotive of guys will not even come close to comparing to the emotional expression that you might get from a woman. A man's emotional reality number two, men often feel their emotions in their physical bodies. Now this habit can become destructive if a man doesn't know how to vent and manage the negative emotions. Very often they can manifest themselves as a disease and sometimes even the big C, cancer. Again, it's not necessary for a man to express all of his emotions if he can manage them in a healthy way. Some guys just don't express feelings well with their words, but they do express them through actions. And this is where the miscommunication comes between men and women. Guys, we show up, we take responsibility, and we take action. That's our way of expressing our feelings and showing love. And sometimes it's just to, the way we do it is we just ask you, so how's your car running? I know, kind of crazy, right? We speak a slightly different language, but it's not too far away that we can't learn to understand each other. A man's emotional reality number three is that men will shift their emotions to a place where it is actually deemed acceptable. You ever seen a bunch of guys at a sporting event? Oh yeah. You think that you're on an alien planet, all the yelling, cheering, the tears, the anger. It's almost like an, a men's emotional party. Men will often use a different medium to communicate their emotions or they'll find another way that they can purge off that steam. It just so happens that sports is a common and socially acceptable way for men to do this. So now that you understand his emotional reality a little better, let's talk about the three real reasons that a man won't talk to you about his feelings. Reason number one is he's emotionally unavailable. I'm sure you've heard this one before, probably about a billion times. Being unavailable can be a reason for some guys, yes, but not nearly as much as all the magazines and daytime talk shows would make it out to be. And it doesn't mean that men are broken. If you compare men's emotional expressiveness to a woman's, you'll always come away with the idea that men are emotionally unavailable, they're just shut down. Which is kind of like comparing a woman's desire to pull the engine out of her 1974 Firebird and rebuild it to a man's desire to do the same thing and then saying that women are mechanically challenged. The fact is it has nothing to do with ability. It's desire to do it that makes men the way they are and the way it makes men want to take action. And just as most women have no real desire to rebuild engines, generally speaking, yeah, I get it, men lack the desire to go into deep emotional explorations. Well, whole books have been written on this topic, mostly blaming men for being shut down or unavailable when it's really a matter of perspective. 
All right, reason number two, he's not attached to his emotions. You see, men aren't as connected to their emotional state on a day-to-day -day basis as women are. It's not a denial thing or anything like that. We just don't have a deep synthesis with our feelings, you know? A man evolved to be able to disconnect from his emotions so that he could get the job done and save the day when he had to. Can you imagine if the guy that needed to be the hero on the spot had to stop for a little moment to have a little cry and maybe call up his therapist? No, it's not going to happen. He has to get the job done, and that's the significant difference. It's not that women are weaker. It's a different way and a different mode of expressing. Today, a lot of feminine literature, aka the magazines for women, call men out and label them as basically pushing our emotions away. Well, you might even think that your man has done this when he, you know, yeah, yeahs you or changes the subject away from something emotional. Let me share some of the advice that a popular site gives when it comes to why men don't show their feelings. Yeah, these are real. He'd rather bottle up his emotions so that he never has to think about them. Really? He's basically running from his problems for as long as he possibly can. This talking about feelings is exactly what men are intimidated with. You hear what's going on in there, that tone that's calling us out? It's basically saying, you're right ladies and men are all broken and wrong. Let's look down on them for being inferior to us. Men aren't running from their feelings, ladies. They just simply don't have the same kind of tolerance and acceptance for uh, emotional expression that many women do. And one more thing, trust me when I tell you that if you adopt an attitude of scorn for a man's experience, you'll always feel yourself separated from men instead of connected. You'll never understand someone that you view as your enemy. I see this whole men versus women attitude coming up and it never helps a relationship. Okay, reason number three, he doesn't want to say something wrong. This is really huge, really huge for guys. Now allow me to explain how guys think about dating women. Here's what's going on in the guy's head. Women are a mystery with changing rules and criteria. And dealing with all this uncertainty makes me anxious and nervous inside. And this undermines this confidence I'm supposed to have to show her I'm an attractive guy, I can get it done. Therefore, I will just keep a safe distance and try to not mess anything up. This is very much how most men feel when it comes to emotional expression. We're not particularly good at it, so we don't pretend to play in that space. And we wanna save ourselves from uh, having to go through the pain of fixing a mistake. So we stay quiet. There's a great quote that's attributed to uh, Mark Twain or Abraham Lincoln, depends on who you talk to, but it's a good quote nonetheless. Better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak up and remove all doubt. Look, most men live by that creed. The reality is that you will actually experience many more men opening up and expressing their feelings today in our new age of open expression, but that doesn't make it good. In fact, I hear a lot of emotions from guys these days. Most of it's whining. Look, it's good for us to talk about our deeper emotional experience. However, it is said that the major emotion of masculinity is anxiety. Why? Because men must constantly prove their manhood and masculinity, whereas a woman only needs to look her role. Sad but true. For men, it's an active role with no intermissions, no vacations. Oftentimes, you'll do better if you look at his actions first. Take note of what it is he's doing that says he's committed or he's happy or that he cares. Because when a man contributes, he's taking action that, dis that demonstrates his feelings. Just because he's talking to you in a slightly different way with his actions doesn't mean he's not trying to communicate. And if you want to understand a little bit more about how guys communicate, you got to know where you stand with them. If you want to find out more, I suggest you take my little quick love test. Go on over to datingadviceguru.com. Just click the little link below this video. Go on over and take the love test and find out if he really does love you. You can also get in my newsletter, get all the great crazy stuff that I give away, like these videos and audio and podcasts, and all sorts of great stuff. Go on over, click the link below the video, and don't forget to subscribe and what? like the video. Send a comment or two my way. I'd love it if I could hear from you. This is Carlos Caballo from DatingAdviceGuru.com. As always, live and love with passion.